retired, man. I, I came from a place down in Texas, man, where all them guys down there sing the blues better than I can. <laughs> no way. There's no way. I got to well, tell you, when we do, we, for people who don't remember, Lonnie's the guy that uh, joined us on stage in the Love Dart Lounge uh, uh, with the leisure suits at Poplar Creek and then again last time at the Rosemont Horizon. And when you come up to that mic, I, I, you just like blow the mic out. I mean, you just, hey, bartender! <laughs> I mean, I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, it's incredible. I'd be scared. Yeah, you'd be <laughs> <laughs> With that crowd, I believe it. Okay, so uh, Lonnie is offering up a uh, ticket for every time he plays, wherever he plays uh, in Chicago. Uh, if you can think of a name for his band, we'll try that once, but also at 591 Rock and Roll, Lonnie is the blues. He's felt the blues. He's lived the blues. He plays the blues. Right Buzz man. Yeah, he's lived the blues, he's played the blues, he smells the blues, he is the blues. Still living the blues. Still living the blues. <laughs> so uh, if you've got some blues in your life, Lonnie, lay a little, I need a little talking music right now. Just a little talking music. Get some back. Well, yeah. slow, some, some slow talking music. Right <laughs> so you know, baby, it's a Friday, and you got blues in your life. You got nothing to do this weekend. Your future looking bleak. Your boss giving you some grief The woman having trouble at home The men having trouble at the workplace The women having trouble in the job site You know what I mean We all got the blues, baby Give us a call to the blues line and tell us about it 591 Rock and Roll Line and do a little song for you Be right back in the Johnny Love Dark Lounge For a Friday with a lot of Brooks The King of the Blues Special guest harmonica player, Mr. Buzz Kilman. Davis for Men presents their final fall and winter clearance sale. This is it. Every fall and winter suit, sport coat, slack, top coat, leather, sweater, tie, and sport shirt has been drastically reduced. Every item is at least 50% off. Some much more. Davis for Men will mention no names in this ad. But we think you know who they are. Remember, this is definitely Davis for Men's last fall and winter sale of the year. So take advantage. Every item must go this week. Hurry. Sale ends this Sunday at 6 p.m. Davis for Men. 1547 North Well Street and Davis for Men Water Tower Place, 6th Level. Open every day. We're 40 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of British Columbia talking with Mr. Gil Finn, headmaster of the Queen Charlotte Finishing School for Gifted Fish. We're talking cream of the crop. Gil, you've just graduated a fresh class of Orange Roughy. What makes them so special? Well, Ed, we take Orange Roughy from only the finest families. Uh, then we finish them. Fascinating. We teach them etiquette, good taste, even aerobics. No kidding. Keeps them firm, lean, and tender. Cub Foods likes it that way. So Cub is a big recruiter of your graduates? Oh, every Orange Roughy here dreams of going to Cub, but first they have to swim 50 laps while balancing a hard copy of Moby Dick on their heads. Your Orange Ruffy Reed Melville? Yes. However, most prefer Faulkner. You're making this up. Then there's your macroeconomics. I don't believe hey, this. if they want to go to Cub, they got to learn the value of a dollar. This sounds fishy to me. Pick up delicious Orange Ruffy for just three forty-eight dollars a pound. That's right. Just three forty-eight dollars a pound through March 6th at your 14 Chicagoland Cub food stores. Hurry to Cub. At three forty-eight dollars a pound, you'll want to net some for yourself. Quantity rights reserved. Monsieur Williams, will you be requiring my able services as your loyal sidekick tonight? Ah, yes, thank you, Francois. Tell me, Williams, how ever did you find your manservant, Francois? Well, it all started when I bought my economical yet highly reliable Toyota Corolla. Francois was new to this country and had, for some unknown reason, decided on a career as a mechanic specializing in Toyota Corollas. Bonjour, madame. I noticed your Toyota Corolla and wondered if you need the services of a trained mechanic. <laughs> I can only assume this means no. Francois was not aware of the Corolla's well-earned reputation for reliability. Still, he persevered. Pardon, monsieur, but I am a Corolla mechanic and... <laughs> a sense, a trend. Spudding my Corolla, he wound up at my door. Excuse me. Oh! My door struck Francois smartly on the head, knocking him onto the concrete, thus teaching him the first rule of being a Corolla mechanic. Really? What rule is that? That if you're going to specialize in Corollas, you'd better have something to fall back on. I love what you do for me. Does your florist have a buyer in the floral market at 5.30 each morning to handpick the freshest flowers? 
Amling's Flowerland does. Dial 312-AML-INGS. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Lisa. 839. Can you dig that? Do you want some music underneath you, baby? Oh, I love it. Go, cool, baby. Yeah. Northbound. You got to turn your guitar back up again. You got to turn it back up. Yeah. Oh, sounds good. Dig it. Northbound in the Tri-State. Got a problem. There's a disabled truck on Dempster near northbound Tri-State exit. That ramp be backing up solid to Tui on to the northbound Tri-State. 35 will get you from Stevenson to I-90. On the northwest tollway, 27 Barrington to Kennedy. East-west tollway, 2759 to the Ike. Big problems on the Kennedy. Big Four problems cars. on the Kennedy. <laughs> Four cars, right Four center cars. lane. Center lane. It's Austin. It's Austin. 43 O'Hare to downtown. Downtown. 21 locals. Yep. 13 Express. Dig it. Outbound, we got even bigger problems. Bigger problems than that? It's a seven-car crack-up. Oh, you got to be kidding me, lady. It's at Diversity, and it be blocking the three left lanes. It be blocking the three left lanes? On the Stevenson. Uh-huh. 52 from Harlem. Yeah, hey, yeah. Ryan, 28 to downtown. All right, all right. And on the Calumet. On the Calumet. At 159, the right lane be blocked with road work. It be blocking with road work. Edens. Edens. 20 from Dempster. And everything else? Yeah. A-OK. A-OK, yeah. And that's shadow traffic. And I'm Lisa D. A-OK, and you're Lisa D. And on the morning loop. A-OK, and you're Lisa D. It's yeah. A-OK, and you're Lisa D. <laughs> Get down, mama. You're one bad white woman, I got to tell you. It's in my blood. All right, honey, thank you so much. Anytime. All right. I'm a-digging that traffic, my man. All right, baby. Monty Brooks back live at the Love Dart Lounge at 8.40. Frank. Hey, Johnny B. Lonnie. Play me Fuck some slow. Blues, Play me some slow blues, eh, Lonnie. Hey, Johnny. Yeah. I got the bright and welcome blues. Yeah. I don't know if I'm a white-collar worker or if I'm a blue-collar worker, my man. I'm kind of stuck in blues limbo. So no. You don't know whether you're white collar or blue collar. Up in the office, I'm out back. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here, Johnny. And then maybe, maybe Lonnie can help me out. Get some of this blues out of my system. Lonnie don't know whether he's a white collar worker or a blue collar worker. Can you sing him a little song? When I think about the w- blue collar. <laughs> oh, Lonnie's going, first of all, you wake me up night, you know that make me think about the blue on the west side yeah. You know one night when I came home what did I mean? I wish my collar was blue <laughs> yeah. But when my wife saw that lipstick on it I wonder what she would do <laughs> I wish I had a white collar this morning <laughs> Yeah, yeah Maybe I could leave and clear my head. I see a little lipstick on your collar. You're gonna be bad when you get home tonight. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, Jimmy. Yeah, how are you doing? Keep that slow blues groove oh, going, man. man. You know what happened? You were talking before when that lady gets down on you. And you start doing it, and you start turning to the bottle. You start hitting that bottle. That's Wait, hold on a minute, man. Hold on. Lonnie, I got to get it down just a little bit. You get your guitar. Yeah, there we go. All right, back to you, my man. What do you get the next morning? You get them steamroller blues. Lonnie? Yeah. On three, one. Two, oh, are you, are you going to sing? Yeah. Okay, sing go ahead. What? I woke up this morning. Yeah. Fell <laughs> out of bed. I fell like a steamroller. <laughs> Ran over my head. Been drinking too much. Ain't done no good at all. Yeah, right on. My mind. Whiskey was made of water. My mind was made of steel. My head would be all rusted out. I'm digging that. Exactly how I feel. Uh, Jim, I hope you get better, my man. <laughs> yeah, that's Jim, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Jim, all right. Yeah, yeah. 
Carol. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Carl. Carl. That's right. I called you Carol. Carl. Carl. You got a name for Lonnie Brooks' band? I sure do. I sure do. It has to do with the music. It has to do with the last name. Called the Babylon Brooks. <laughs> the the Babylon Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Water flowing naturally. Write that down. The music, the feelings. Babylon Brooks. Why does, does Lonnie's son Ronnie like that? He's laughing. Can he turn it into a rap group? <laughs> the Babylon Brooks. Well, my name is Lonnie and I'm real bad. That's my son and I'm the dad. I don't know, Lonnie. You like that, though? Well, I'm thinking. I'm listening. Remember, Lonnie, it's a free ticket every time you play a blues club in the area. Yeah. Babylon Brooks. Babylon, Babylon Brooks. Brooks. Okay, All well, right, let's see. Jared, let's go ahead. Yeah, somebody man. else come up with one. Let's Lonnie, I'm uh, taking the best one. I don't know why, but after Lonnie, the article came out about Lonnie Brooks and the Tribunist, that he believes he needs to have a new name. We do not believe that is the case, but what is it? What is your suggestion, Jerry? My suggestion is the Brooks Brothers. Yeah, I told <laughs> oh, I said, I said, right. oh, I said that you on the air. That already. <laughs> I already told you that one. Was it not a Johnny Gillespie? Uh, what, what is your name? What is your name? My name is Jerry. Jerry? Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, well, Jerry, but you all, have the split thing, with me. Uh, 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 Johnny come up with it first. <laughs> yeah, so, but I didn't hear it. Huh? Jerry, you split I, I with know. me. By the way, Johnny, people wonder what Lonnie's it. doing here. Lonnie's uh, performing in Fiddler on the Roof at the Civic Theater, and he is playing the part of uh, Topol. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Topol Gijo. I don't know. I've never seen the Let production. Put these phones <laughs> on here. Hello, Mike. Hello. Yeah, you got a band name? Yeah. Yeah. How about the Blues Jeans? Uh, the blues Jeans. Lonnie, talk. You're, I'm yeah, that, that, that sounds state. good, too. No, you anybody liar. Write, anybody writing this stuff down so I can remember? Yeah, can, your, your son is. Babylon Brooks, <laughs> Blue Jeans, and the Brooks Brothers. Okay, you so got far, a good memory, So man. far, I don't hear it, Lonnie. <laughs> Lonnie, what's wrong with Lonnie Brooks is a household name in Chicago. What's? Why do you want to change it? I don't know if I'm going to change it yet. That Call it Bruce, somebody come up with something better. You know. Bruce Eglar's band. <laughs> <laughs> the head of Alligator Records. What's called that, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah. Would you like I that? Got, it got a ring to that, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're saying. You're saying, hey, come on, man. We paid $10 to get in here today. I want Lonnie and Buster to do another song. All right. What you going to do for us? How about a little gypsy woman, my man? Lonnie Brooks. Gypsy woman told my mama Just before I was born so you got a boy, a child coming Gonna be a son of a gun Gonna make them pretty women Jump and shout And everybody in Chicago wanna know What's this all about? You know I'm here Everybody knows Lonnie Brooks is here Born on a seven hour, seven day. I'm a seven month child. The seven doctor said that I was born for good luck, and that you can see. I got seven thousand dollars, y'all. Don't you mess with me, you know I'm here. Lonnie Brooks live now. Friday, that's tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Lonnie Brooks and the Brooks Brothers and the Babylon Brooks and the Blues Jeans. Lonnie Brooks, Rockford tonight, Rush Street. Saturday, Madison, Wisconsin at the Crystal Corner.
Next week they're at Fitzgerald's in Berwyn. On Friday and on Saturday night they're in Streamwood, Illinois at Hugh 2. Slider Brooks, thank you so much for being here, baby. Yeah. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you. One. You are deep blue. Deep blue. Hey! Cause we're gonna lay around 
something good to eat and make ourselves a little high, make the whole day complete. Cause we're gonna lay around the shanty mama and put a good buzz on. Well, every night and day, if I can help it, we're gonna lay around the shanty mama and put a good buzz on. All right, good news, brother. Eight fifty-five on the morning loop. I'm Buzz Kilman with these top stories for people like Mike Williamson. The Greyhound bus strike hits home. The Lexington, Kentucky man was on his way to a new job in Florida when that strike began. They left him stranded in Atlanta, and he says Greyhound didn't offer a refund. The nationwide strike by more than nine thousand drivers and other workers began after midnight, leaving thousands of travelers stranded throughout the country. President Bush continues his California visit today with appearances uh, for his anti-drug theme. Bush will meet with television executives in Los Angeles to thank the industry for TV programs that make drug use appear less glamorous. South African black activist Nelson Mandela is the most visible figure in the African National Congress, but until today he's held no formal post in that organization. That changed today when the movement named Mandela its deputy president. A former Soviet spy says the KGB once thought of breaking the legs of ballet dancer Rudolf Nureyev when he defected. In an interview with the Washington Post, Viktor Shamov says the KGB considered attacking Nureyev when he made anti-communist statements after his defection in 61. Shamov, who defected in 1980, says the KGB may have also considered assassinating the Pope in 1979. A memorial service for Malcolm Forbes was held yesterday. The guest list, quite impressive, including Hell's Angels, Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Nixon, Joan Rivers, and, of course, son Robert there, delivering the eulogy. He was so many things to so many of us. Boss, bon vivant, raconteur, balloonist, columnist, happiest millionaire, leader of the pack, Oyabun, El Jefe, source, mentor, friend, super this, mega that, Father, grandfather, father-in-law, uncle, cousin, and sparkling naughty boy. And says Robert of his father, <laughs> Malcolm, he loved to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent, dude. The Malkster and I are the same guys, except for a couple of billion yeah, dollars just, difference. Just a couple. Um, Oya Bon and El Jefe. Yeah. W what does that mean? Uh, they're just terms for, uh, you know, El Jefe is the boss. Oya Bond, I assume, is the boss in a different language. You're just going to assume that? I'm assuming that, yeah. There's anyone out there that uh, can tell us the lingo of Oyobon? Please share with us so we may be cultured and learn together. Meanwhile, a city alderman in Milwaukee has touched off an explosive political debate with a call for a revival of the Black, uh, Black Panther Party. Michael McGee, a former member of the Black Panthers, says he wants to train an army of inner-city gang members in Milwaukee to liberate and control their community and their destiny. We're losing young black men that are just shooting each other and dying for no reason at all. What I'm doing is I'm giving them a reason to die. An inmate was stabbed to death at Stateville Correctional Center last night. The prison north of downtown Joliet was immediately placed on lockdown. The U.S. Geological Survey confirms that a small earth tremor shook portions of southern Illinois early this morning. That jolt registered 3.4 on the Richter scale. And school officials have ordered extra people on duty today in order to prevent another demonstration like the one that took place at Chicago's Morgan Park High School yesterday. Hundreds of students broke windows and turned in fire alarms yesterday to protest the dismissal of their principal. And Robert Marshall is one Republican candidate for state's attorney you may not have heard of as the race primarily features conservative Stephen Baer and Jim Edgar. Marshall is a Burr Ridge physician who wants to raise the standard of intoxication because he says drunken driving is a grossly overblown problem. He also wants to end Medicaid because recipients are, as, uh, he says, are, are n uh, not as poor as they say. And he says fathers who withhold child support payments are protecting their failure to get custody. Says Marshall, a lot of these men get tricked by girlfriends who wanted to get pregnant and married. And says Marshall, that means they're deadbeat moms. 8.59 on the morning loop. We'll be back with... Chat, chat, chat. Sitting for Bruce Wolf in the sports. What would you say if I offered you seven romantic nights? I'd say my ship has come in. Actually, it's coming in August 25th. Ah, oh, you really believe in making a date in advance. Well, Shop at Home Cruises Summer Singles Spectacular shoves off from Miami August 25th. 
But cabins are going fast, so you better get yours now. Oh, what's it going to cost me? Well, it's an $1,800 value, but with Shop at Home, you pay one price, only $1,199. Well. But for a limited time only. Don't miss out. It's first come, first serve, and everything is included. Oh. You'll sail on the four-star Commodore Caribe to Puerto Plata, San Juan, St. John, and St. Thomas, and you'll be entertained by Joey D. and the Starlighters. Of the Peppermint Twist Fest? That's right. Oh, my ship has come in. But what do I do until August? Take Peppermint Twist lessons. Don't miss out on the summer singles event of the year. For a limited time only, pay one price. Call Shop at Home toll free at 1-800-633-6211. Port charges additional. For offices that work as hard as you do, the source, of course, is DNA. Sooner or later, there's a good chance you'll be in the market for buying office furniture. And there are some right ways and wrong ways to do it. This commercial is about the right ways, and they all begin with DNL. There's DNL contract furnishings, ready to provide you with all the vital creative and support services for the successful design and furnishing of your office. There's DNL showrooms, where you can shop the newest selection of furnishings and save 40 to 60 percent. There's DNL catalog sales. Call or pick up DNL's 96 page catalog filled with tons of great office furniture ideas. There's DNL rent to own programs, the innovative economical way to furnish your offices. Plus, DNL has leasing programs, guarantee buyback programs, and lots of of other right ways to buy office furniture. What's the right way to begin? Call the source, of course, 527-3636. DNL, the right way to buy office furniture, 527-3636. Frank DeFord, editor of the National Sports Daily. Straight talk about the national. The best sports writers in the country, the most comprehensive local coverage, the most complete national stats, the biggest and the best box scores ever, the latest breaking news and gossip, the finest four-color photos, 30 seconds from ringside to make up room, and the right price, 50 cents for America's one and only sports paper, fresh each day on your newsstand, the National. With the best starting lineup of writers in the game. How do we get them? By giving them the chance to move from the back of the paper right up to the front page. At the National, sports comes first, not after the politicians behind the catastrophes and back of the stocks and bonds, but first, last, and in the middle. That's what we offered our writers, the chance to be part of the new National pastime, and that's how we got them. The National Sports Daily, for the everyday fan, every day. Want to laugh? Call Dial-A-Joke, Chicago's funniest number, 976-JOKE, now featuring comics from Zany's Comedy Club. Six minutes, just two bucks. That's 976-JOKE, more than just a punchline. Here's my blues mama. <laughs> 902 in the morning loop, and the Kennedy is really clogged from Harlem to Austin, and that's because of an earlier accident, but then it gets tied up from Lawrence to Diversey, and the locals and the express lanes are jammed all the way, partly because of a seven-car pileup on the outbound Kennedy at Diversey. Inbound, it's 38 O'Hare to downtown and 23 in the express and in the local lanes. Outbound, 30 back to O'Hare. Ike, 38 from Mannheim. Stevenson, 52 from Harlem. Ryan, 26 to get downtown. Calumet still tight at 159th. Just road work there blocking the right lane. On I-57, minor delays begin at Wentworth. Edens, down to 16 from Dempster. Northbound in the Tri-State, that disabled truck is still on, the, on Dempster near the exit ramp. It's making it very difficult for everyone to exit off of the northbound Tri-State at Dempster because of the backup. The travel time on the east-west tollway heading eastbound has climbed five minutes to a half hour from 59 to the Ike. Northwest tollways eased up and so is Route 53 and for the most part, so of both directions of Lakeshore Drive. That shadow traffic brought to you by Merlin's Muffler and Brake. It's a mistake to go anywhere else. Save on undercar care needs with valuable coupons coming to your home soon. On the Morning Loop, I'm Lisa Dominique. Have a good weekend. You too. All right, baby. The Sports is brought to you by The National, the new all-sports daily newspaper for the everyday fan, every stinking day. And I is that diddly 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 I want to tell you just at the outset of the outset of prefaces that we're out. I want to wish you and yours the most joyous Casimir Pulaski holiday weekend. Though I did not know Cassie personally, and let's face it, how many of us did? He certainly merits a holiday. In fact, 
<laughs> I would suggest that now that we've become used to Casimir Pulaski Day kicking off the month, we should have a new saying, March comes in like a Pulaski and goes out like the day before April Fool's Day or something like that. <laughs> Sorry to see my dear, dear friend Leo DeRocker did not make it to the Baseball Hall of Fame. You know, there are some people who don't want to give Leo his due, and those people are mean, nasty, and spiteful, and that's what puzzles me. They should want to put Leo in because they're just like a mean, nasty, don't and spiteful. Me. I'm a sick old man. So what if Leo gave Ernie Banks a hard time? Sometimes you have to tug on Superman's cape. Sometimes you have to draw a mustache on the Mona Lisa. Sometimes you have to desecrate the flag. Sometimes you have to yell fire in a crowded theater. Sometimes you have to call up an 83-year-old, old, old, shriveled-up baseball manager and give him a hard time about not getting into the Hall of Fame. Casimir Pulaski fought Don't for our me. inalienable right to do these things. <laughs> Blackhawks, 6-4 loss to St. Elsewhere. Blues third for first. College basketball, the Big Ten, WCFO. Mish over Mish, Min over in, Wiss over New Bulls. And that's tonight, AM 1000 at 7.30. The Biffle adds two W card teams to the playoffs. NC still probe for point champion. And no baseball, the lockout continues. You would think that if only so as not to tarnish the memory of Kashmir Pulaski, the players and owners would get together, resolve their differences, turn their swords into World Series shares, carry Leo DeRosa out to the ball. Let Leo throw out the first pitch or at least let it fall from his hand and take his leg and shake it in an umpire and say, hey, remember, Leo, how you used to kick up the dirt? Ah, baseball, I can't wait for the season to start. That is a little bit of a Don't bug me. I'm a sick old man. I got no time for practical jokes. Today, partly sunny and warmer. Highs in the upper 40s or perha perhaps the lower 50s. Right now at the loop, it's 30. Uh, it's 50. No, it's 40. <laughs> you don't think I have enough trouble doing this? Well, I don't know why. It's just the I weather. Know, I know. You know, it seems to be so hard for you to read the weather. Right out the loop, it's 34 degrees. Mine, 906. I'm Buzz Gelman on the loop. WLUP, AM and FM. That's your one more.
Buzz, we seen some women waiting out in the hallway? I saw them. Who are they? I don't know. I don't know anything, man. I just stay in my little room. I mind my own business. I don't go out. I don't mingle. I just do my job. Well, they're cute young girls out there. All right, bring them in. <laughs> Why is it, who are they? <laughs> bring them on in. Let's introduce our guests up here today. <laughs> okay, well, you turned me around on that one. Well, come on in, kids. 18 after 9, Chicago's Loop AM and FM. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, Tracy. Tracy? Yes, sir. How are you doing, Johnny? Your name is Tracy. You're a guy? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you hate that name as a guy? Well, you, you get used to it after a while. Most people call you Terry anyway. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. hi, girls. I can't talk. I'm just talking to a phone call right now. How are you doing today? Fine. Yeah, there's some headphones right there. When you, you look very young. You look very young, girls. You're very Irish, too. You are. Little red haired girl. Uh, yeah, so Tracy, uh, they refer to Malcolm Forbes as El Jefe. Yeah. And what's that? It's, uh, it means the chief. Yeah, you That's to be what in Buzz the said. The boss. Yeah, the chief. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking for what uh, Uno Bunu means. Uh, <laughs> Oya Bund. Oya Bund. Uh, what does that mean? Manuel? Yeah, Johnny. Hey, I'm Manuel. How's it going? It's Manuel. By hey, the Manuel, way. how you doing? Sorry Pretty about good. that. Pretty good. I do know what Oyabun means. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, ever heard of the Yakuza, the Japanese mafia? No. Okay, it's a Japanese word for mafia boss. Mm hmm. And that's all. That's all it means. Oyabun. So he's a ma mafia boss. Yeah, he's like a Japanese a mafia, boss. mafia boss. Is what his son is calling him. Okay. Thank you, my man. Can I have a breakfast set? How would you like a slap in the mouth? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Manuel. <laughs> Okay. Fine, fine if you put a bowl in it first. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll let you come tell you what. I'm looking for a bouncer for my new Mexican uh, disco. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not Mexican, Johnny. Why not? You got the name Manuel. Couldn't you be Mexican? Well, I could pretend, I suppose. I just got to really find a bouncer really, really, really fast, okay? What? I got to find a bouncer really, really fast. Yeah. Hey, I got a, I got a name for your uh, uh -huh. Jewish dance house, too. Dance what? Hall too. What's that called? You can call it the Horror House. The Horror House? Yeah. The Horror House. The Horror House. Okay, don't forget. Do you want to hustle? Do you want to salsa? Come to Rimba, Simba, Rabba, Rimba, 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 I'm 15. And no, you had a baby that's nine. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that story this morning? No. There's a girl called if she was 11, she had a two-year-old daughter. Could you believe that? Isn't that unbelievable? No, uh, yeah. Well, you guys made a trek all the way to the top of the Hancock. Please state your names, and then you can go out, and then we'll give you a kiss. Not not me personally. Why is it, Will? Oh, that's yeah, We can't kiss young girls. Okay. But go right ahead and uh, state your name. I'm um, Heather Janice. Heather? Yeah. What do you do for a living, Heather? <laughs> I go to Shepard High School. Why aren't you in school? Isn't it? What is it today? We